Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to put text behind an object using Photoshop. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So I've got two pictures here that I've downloaded from Pexel's video and I've chosen these two pictures for this effect because the object and the background are very distinct. So in this picture here we have the man who's wearing a dark shirt and the background is quite blurry so it's kind of easy to pick up uh, the man as a whole object. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to unlock your layer first if it's not unlocked and the easiest way to do this is to come over here hold down the left mouse button and go to the object selection tool. Once you've done that all you need to do is draw a rough outline around the subject let Photoshop work its magic and then you have a nice outline. Now in most cases the outline is going to work fairly well but if you want to add some more things to this outline you can come over here and then you can go to the quick selection tool and then you can add whatever you need so if you're missing like little bits of hair and things like that but anyways I'm gonna leave that for now and then I'm gonna start on the actual text so what I need to do is I need to copy this and then I need to paste it so now I have two layers of just the man over here and then the man with the background. And what we are going to be doing is we're gonna create a new text layer and then put it in between those two layers. So to create a new text layer, all you need to do is come over here and press on the T tool and then just click anywhere on your screen. Now, all you have to do is just write some text and once you've written some text, I'm just gonna move it around. Now the font that I'm using is Arzo Sans Black and I've increased the size, it's rather big, but um, you can choose any font that you like. So once you have your text on your screen, if you want to make it bigger, you can press Control T to bring up the free transform, and then you can you know, bring it so it's pretty big, and you can place it wherever you like. Now, the other thing that you will need to worry about, if, if you wanna bring the spacing of the characters Bit closer together you can go into window and open your character settings and then if you go over here and like let's say we change that to negative 40 now I'm bringing the text closer and closer together so you can play around with some of those settings in character so that's Windows character now all you need to do is just place it in between those two layers and there you go you've got the effect so now the final thing that I did to this was to add a gradient. So to add a gradient, it's quite simple. All you need to do is just double click on the text layer. You need to come over here and go to the gradient. Now these gradients are really nice and if you're in the new version of Photoshop, they come jam packed with all of these gradients all ready to go. So I just went and I found an orange gradient and I just pressed on it and it's good to go. I really don't have to do anything else to it. The only other thing that I added was a simple drop shadow. So I didn't really change much of the settings. I kept my distance at nine, spread at five and size at nine and just gave it that much of an angle. Now you can move the angle around if you want to create different kind of looks or you can even change the blend mode and stuff up here if you want. So that's the first example all right so that's the example with the man now let's go to the woman so again we're going to repeat the same process again i'm just going to unlock that layer by clicking on that lock icon and again you know you can do this quite simply with the object selection tool the person and the background are very distinct from each other so that means photoshop can really pick it up nicely and quickly if you didn't want to use the object selection tool, you can always use the quick selection tool and then you can change the size of your brush by pressing uh, on the brackets to make them bigger and smaller and then you can just draw around your subject. So whichever way you would like to do this, that's totally up to you. Then you can go in here and if you want to fix that, you can just press and hold. So now once you've got your subject highlighted, again it's the same process. Control C to copy and then Control V to paste. And so now we've got the person there and 
we've got the person there as well so all we need to do is press T on our keyboard for text and then we can actually just write some text and all I'm gonna do is just move this around and I'm just going to maybe right behind and there and all I'm gonna do is just make it bigger by pressing Control T and just dragging it out and once it fills the whole screen all I need to do is just place it underneath that layer and there we have it so now we can go back into the settings for our text layer and we can go to our gradient and I'm just gonna go and pick a pinkish kind of gradient all right that one looks cool and then I can just add a drop shadow if I like and I'm happy with that and there you go that is a very simple way of putting text behind a subject. Anyways guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.